Yo, welcome to the K Says Sports Show, and I'm your host, Kane Bradfield. And y'all know my slogan, the fame is free, but the grind costs, baby. Yo, what's up, everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Kane Said. And I'm your host, Kane Bradfield. Y'all know my slogan. The fame is free, but the grind costs, baby. Listen, man, I got a special guest in the house, man. And y'all already know he a baller. He wouldn't be here if he was a baller, man. How you doing, man? I'm good. Appreciate you for having me. Man, it's all love. It's all love, man. Listen, man, let people know who y'all are, man. Oh, my name's Tucker Starlin, and I attend Callaway High School. I'm yes, Brian Starling. I'm Tucker Starling's dad. Appreciate you having me here. Yes, sir. And I'm Angie Starling. I'm Tucker's mom. Uh-huh. I dig that. First of all, man, thank y'all for coming. You know what I mean? For showing love to Kane said today, man. I appreciate that, man. But like I said, today, y'all, we're going to talk some baseball. Talk about you, man. And talk about your growth, you know, as a baller, as a player, as a student athlete. Sounds good? Yes, sir. Let's Sounds do it, good. man. So, big dog, listen, man. Okay. When did this baseball love start for you man it started since i was probably like four or five ever since i could get into t-ball yeah i played ever since i've never stopped playing never yeah. stopped loving the game either you've been loving that thing right mm -hmm. so, yes, so 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 brian met something big dog you know what i'm saying we, yeah so this is both of y'all really tell me how did y'all start molding him into a baseball player well i'd say to start with when he was four or five years old I always loved the game, yeah, and I really wanted to be part of it. So I started off coaching him. Okay, for okay. years. I mean, four and five, six, seven, eight year old, nine, just doing it all. You know, just trying to teach him, and it it was fun. Yeah. You know, and then a couple of friends of ours, we just kept building this and building it, and you know, me and Charles Mosley and Scott Thompson got together, and we were shout out to them. Yeah, and we were yeah. all doing it. And started travel ball and stuff, and started our own team. Yeah. And so all that was real good, but then as they got older, you kind of wanted to. Be able to sit back and watch it and enjoy mm -hmm. it some. Mm -hmm. So we kind of sat back and let him do his own thing. And, you know, I, I really enjoyed it since then. You know? Right, right. I, mm -hmm. I dig this. Talk to me, Angie. Let me hear something down now. <laughs> I'm the mom that brought all the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you like teen mom yes. type deal. Yes. Yo, but everybody need a teen mom, though. <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I dig that. So, so big dog, you know what I mean? You know, you know, having your dad, you know, coach you throughout your younger years, man. I don't know if you remember that, but if you do, man, tell me about that. Um, it was it was really good because it always was he was always a motivator for me. So as long as he was there coaching me, he was always there pushing me as well. I mean, yeah. he still does that to this day and all. Yeah. But with him being a coach as well, it was right there beside me the whole time. So yeah, that was good. Up. Yeah, it was good about that. So, so 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 big dog. So tell me some of the things, man, that you remember as a young player. Like you know, tell me the good stuff first, man. Give me that, man. I'll tell you a funny thing first. Give it to me. Um. So. I don't know how old I was, but we played on this team called the Grasshoppers. Oh, look. It was what now? Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. Yeah. Somebody with local team? Yes, sir. It's okay. Like the Hogansville Rec. Uh, <laughs> okay, the like, Grasshoppers. Okay. Yeah, it was like, probably, I don't know if it was coach pitch, so it was probably like six, seven, something like that, five, yeah, yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. And um, my dad, he somebody threw the ball at him, and he wasn't looking, and it hit him straight in his eye. <laughs> no, so man. See, that's when you realize yeah. I didn't be the coach no more. Right, right. you're like, <laughs> hanging up there, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he had a black eye, and I it may have been the same practice. I can't remember if it was the same practice or just a little bit after that. Yeah. But I got hit in the eye. <laughs> oh, man. So mine wasn't as bad as him, but, but yeah, we both got hit you in the eye. You both got hit in the eye, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so. And just how did you handle that, man? You got both. You got your, you got your husband, your son, come home with black eyes. Exactly. How'd you handle that, man? Um, <laughs> two ice packs. Right, right, yeah. right. Ice them up, right? Ice them up. From the snacks to the ice. Yeah, yeah. from the snack to the ice, man. Man, I dig that. So, big dog, you know, I remember, man. It's crazy. Now, I don't know if you remember your nickname here. Remember, you remember your nickname? Bling bling. Bling bling, baby. Still. Yeah, shout out to my. But still blinking. Still got two. My boy uh, still blinging. Still got two of them. Yes, yeah. sir. I dig that, man. My boy, um, Fanny. You know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying, Coach Fanny. You know, I know you remember him, man. 
He's uh matter of fact, matter of fact, bro, he saw a picture of you. I would tell him, I said, yo, my finna interview my boy. I said, I'll always say bling. Mm-hmm. In my boy, but he said, what? He said, let me see. He said, but he like a total different person. I said, but he does. Uh. A totally different person, man. So what came along with that, man? I mean, you like transform your body, man. Is it just mm-hmm. growing up or did you do something different? Like, what, what's up? Uh, I really think I just kind of grew up. I yeah, think yeah. I just got taller and then slimmed out doing that. I didn't really, like, and then once I started high school, mm-hmm. we obviously worked out a lot more and things like that. So right. I feel like that helped me. Yeah. But, yeah, I think I just mainly just kind of got a little bit taller and right. slimmed out. Yeah. That was about it. I feel like I dig that. So listen, man. So is it is it is it a Callaway thing with the long hair and the pictures, man? I mean, what, uh, what's up with that, man? Um, I would say so. <laughs> once quarantine happened uh, yeah. in March of 2020, I guess everybody just grew their just hair grew out, out right. around that time because couldn't nobody go get a haircut really. Uh. So once we grew our hair out and everybody kind of liked it, so we right, just right. kept it. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right, right. We liked the way it looked. So, so this is for both of you guys, right? So you know, what I'm saying when you're a kid. You know, I mean, start growing up and 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 start it, cause like it's crazy. Like, I mean, of course, I got a, I got an older son too. When they grow up, man, how do you, how do y'all deal as parents deal with them not wanting to lay in mama arms anymore or chill with daddy? You, you know, how you, I mean, how do you handle that though? I would say on my end, it was a little easier transition than okay. I thought it was, but at okay. the same time, there is times still still to this day that I miss the times that he would yeah. he would come home and say. And you see that what happened on Sports Center? You see what happened in this yeah. play on football, or whatever. And I miss those moments still. Right. So that transition has been a little tough there. But for the most part, I mean, it was a lot easier because I guess I transitioned into considering still seeing him play baseball and still perform yeah. and, and do good at that. So it really like, is tough for I, me. I, is but. how about you down down there? Was it <laughs> was it tough for you? Actually, I mean, it hasn't really hit. Yet, that's right. Um, but you know, we do have an older daughter that's already been through college and moved out on her own and has her own career. So this is round two, round two for, for you us. Guys, yeah. yeah. So preparation help you out. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah. Experience type stuff, right? And so, baseball still. Ahead. I was just gonna say, and baseball still keeps our family together. So. Yeah. So look, I'm gonna ask y'all something. You just said that. Because again, we get, you know, my son didn't play baseball. My kid, you know what I mean. It's a life being a baseball parent. Like, what's the? Yeah, give me that, y'all. Give me the. Ooh, I tell you, it's the best. It's the, <laughs> she it's said the, the best. Yeah, it's the it best, really but is. it is a, a really, really big grind mm. too. Because I mean, through not just the high school or rec ball, but the travel ball and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. it's the getting up, leaving out four thirty, five o'clock in the morning. You know, traveling two or three hours, playing all day. You know, coming back home that night if it's a one day thing, or you know, having to get them hotels and stay over yeah. and do it all over again. I mean, yeah. the next day and then get back home at eleven, twelve o'clock, get them to go to school and work the next day for everybody. I mean, it's it's, 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 it's a grind. I'm telling you, it is. It really is. But it's all worth it. I mean, man, I, I, I'm I about to say it's it. all worth it though. Wouldn't trade it. I so, all over. Again. I'm gonna be honest, big dog. You know, I'm gonna call you Bling through this whole interview, man. So <laughs> yes, you might be ready for that. Mm-hmm. So, 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 Bling, man. So tell me something, man. So tell me about your. You know, and your dedication. Like you said, as a parent, you had to dedicate you know, to themselves as, you know, to make sure you eating, the hotel. Mm-hmm. Tell them about your dedication, man, you know, getting to this point you're at now. Um, probably the, some of the same thing, kind of travel ball. Yeah. I feel like you have to have a lot of dedication for that just because you do have to wake up early some morning, stay out late some nights, and do the same thing the next morning because a lot of the times you have Sunday or Saturday, Sunday tournaments. So depending on the times you – you can wake up early, get back late, wake up early, get back late. Yeah. So you have to have the dedication for that. And, yeah, I think – I really think that's about it, Just to be honest. Up. Yeah, travel ball. So so what uh, – so for a travel team, what travel team do you play for or have played for? Um, Growing up, I played for a team full armor with Craig Mobley. Okay. He's at LaGrange now. Yeah. Um, And then I played for DH – DH Prime, which was him, Scott Thompson, and Charles Mosley. Okay. Now, so it, it based out of Lagrange, or based mm-hmm. out of Lagrange. Okay. For the, yeah, it was based out of there, but we had kids from around. Right, right. But yeah, it was based out of there, and then uh, LC Mudcats, and then Excel. Excel. Now, where's Excel from? Oxford. Now it's, it's the same team that um. And the Mudcats. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we yeah, both. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, played yeah. together for both of them, and Prime and DH. Okay. We played. Me and Justin played DH. LC and XL all together. Yeah, about to say, because that, that name sounds familiar, and mm-hmm. I do remember him saying that. 
So talk about the difference, you, you know, before we get into the high school ball, man. Tell me about um, travel ball, man. Tell me about, a, you know, it's a difference in the game of a travel ball game and a high school game. I feel like in travel ball, grow, uh, for the most part, growing up until around Excel, it was more of just like fun, kind of playing with your friends. But once we hit Excel, it was kind of like that's where we're trying to get the college offers, yeah. get college to see us and stuff like that. So for the most part, travel ball has just been fun, but it was also you're playing baseball, you're still trying to win. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, but for the most part, it was just fun. Right. So so this is what y'all here, right? You know what I mean? Are y'all like chill parents at the game? Or y'all like loud, ringing the bells? Like, give it to me. I see it in your face, and oh. give it to me. <laughs> Every situation is different. Right. Like, I, I just feel like you behave differently yeah. at high school games than you do travel ball games. You <laughs> okay. see totally different crowds of people. So, I mean, it, it, it travel more, it's more intense than travel? It's in, for the fans, the crowd, or is it high school more? Yeah, the fans are way more intense, in my opinion, in travel ball. Really? Yeah, in high school, you know, you still have to be respectful for the coaches because <laughs> yeah. you don't want anybody to get kicked out right, based on your right, parents right. or anything like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Travel ball is wild. It's wild, eh? And How I, about you, Victor? I'd agree the same way. I mean, high school, I mean, I still get super involved and super, you know, mad up there sometimes, you know. And, right, right. You know, but I understand at that point, I'm not in control of it and I don't want to get, you know, nothing on that field brought attention to because it's all about the boys and the coaches and at that point. Right. You know, but you get sometimes in the travel ball ones, I mean, you get some of them parents out. Parents are crazy. Ooh, yeah. You may find one or two in a high school game that kind of get rowdy a little bit, but travel ball, you're going to find all parents. If there's 40 of there, 39, 40 of them are – Going to go hardcore at you, go. ready to go. I mean, they're on go. They're waiting. Dang. So, but I'm saying, but how you handle that though? If, because, like, again, in travel ball, they're screaming at you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, how do you handle that as far as mentally? I'm gonna be honest. I don't even really hear anything. Shut to be out. honest. Yeah, yeah. Like my parents are like, they'll be like, "We were cheering for you. Did you hear us or anything?" My <laughs> sister was like, "I said like, like, I was cheering for you. I was like, I didn't know. I, I, didn't, right. I didn't hear you. <laughs> right, right. It's like right. when you step on that field, it's a." I can I mean, I don't really hear anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, go ahead, I go ahead. will say, even in that perspective of thinking about that, it's just like just a couple weeks ago, I said something to him about this schedule this year that we have at high school, and I was like, "Man, that schedule is tough," you know. Right. And I said, "I like it. That's what I like. That's that's what makes you better," you right. know. And he said, "Yeah, I wish we had some of these other games away at these big schools." I'm like, "You don't want to play my home?" He's like, "I like to go up there and beat them." I like you know? that. So, Ice bang. You know, that's yeah. what, it. Don't really bother him. I mean, yeah. he, he has that drive just to yeah. shut him down. You know. So, and where'd that come from, though? Like uh, probably him. For real, me now. Because growing up and stuff, we were both, like, really big competitors. We hated losing. We'd always play, like, pickup basketball outside. Yeah. Or football, something, like, just, like, a little bit of that. So, just coming from him, I guess, probably just the competitiveness and wanting to beat whoever you're going against mm -hmm. came from him. Yeah, sometimes mom would say, you know, what's going on out there? I said, I don't like losing. You don't like losing. Yeah, right, you right. win it once. I said, no, I don't, nah, nobody wins. Nah. You got to earn this money. Uh -huh. I ain't, nobody wins. Man, I'm going to tell you a funny story, though, man. It's not baseball, of course. I ain't play baseball. It was basketball, man. I mean, me and my brothers playing basketball at the rec center. We played with some kids, right? It was me and him. It was teenagers, of course. You know what I mean? And me and him, we was like hustling, like sweating hard. You know what I mean? The one of the kids said, oh, uh, no, nah, no, nah, he did something whatever, crazy or whatever and shot a weird shot. I'm like, yo, what you doing? He like, yo. It just game don't take it serious. What? Don't take it serious. <laughs> we trying to win out here. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm the same way, big dog. Yes. When it's game on, it's game on for me, man. So I definitely feel that. So, big dog, we're going to talk about high school ball for a minute, man. Man, do you remember the first time you stepped on the mound as a high school player? Um, I think so. Okay. Okay. I think so. Okay. Well, give me them more. See, look. I know y'all probably remember. You know, give me the give me your emotion if you remember that. Then I want y'all be thinking because you know what I mean from a parent perspective, I want to see how y'all felt when the first time y'all saw your son up there. So get to him, big. Do you remember though? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Was, um, I think it was against Temple. I okay. think because that was my first varsity like start was against yeah. him. So I think it was somewhere around there. But um, I was nervous, but I kind of already like I was. I already felt that a little bit just because uh, I did like all stars and stuff like that, which would, it was a lot of pressure 
in, with that, in those situations too. So I didn't really feel a whole lot of pressure, and I'd already done like inner squads, which is like you go against your own teammates and stuff like that. So I was go, already going against high school competition some too. Okay. So I really wasn't nervous, to be honest. Right, 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 right. I feel that. How about y'all seeing your son up there for the first time? I can tell you, I'm still to this day if he stepped up there. Yeah. Then butterflies. But Man. even I can't – I won't say I remember the exact first time he stepped on there. I know that seems crazy, but – I remember just every time he's up there, I'm just a nervous wreck about yeah. it. And I, there's certain parts of even his freshman year stuff that I remember, but just, you know, mm-hmm. remember the first time he stepped on mm-hmm. that. But every time he get up there, you like, oh, yeah, I mean, feel it. Oh, yeah, I'm exactly. still there. Yeah, I'm yeah. nervous about it right now. Right. I'm thinking about what's going <laughs> right. on this year. Right. I mean, right. I'm right. still nervous about it. Today. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, I was big, I'm talking about mentors, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like to know what coaches, you know, you look up to, you know, within, you know, it's a Callaway organization, man. Let's talk about that for a minute. Growing up, it was always Craig Mobley from Lagrange. Yeah, because he would all, like, you know how I used how I used to. I was a little little short, chunky little thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, and I don't feel like I was as gifted as other players growing up. But he would always give me that chance, and so it it always helped me try to kind of like prove myself. Yeah. So I was he was always a mentor, and I always took lessons from him and stuff like that. He always tried to help me, so. He was definitely a mentor. And then Charles was always a mentor, too, for, for me. Um, with DH, just doing the same thing, basically. Yeah. He was there helping me. We always had practices. He would always help me doing, during that, too. So, yeah, I'd say for the most part, those were my mentors yeah. growing up. Yeah. So, you know, a, a, as a parent, you know what I'm saying, how you guys, I guess, um, I can say handle that, or maybe uh, maybe what I'm trying to use, deal with that when you, you know, when you finally got to give your, Kid up to, you know what I mean? Let somebody else groom them. You know what I'm, I'm firm believer they take a village. You know what I'm saying? So how did y'all, you know what I'm saying, deal with that? I really made the transition of thinking it was probably better for him mm. because, you know, you feel like sometimes they respond to somebody else yeah. better than they respond to you. Different of, voice. Yeah. Different voice. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, with Craig, you know, through the lessons and stuff like that, other than just the commitment of, you know, the lessons going out there and the practices and stuff like that, I mean, I really thought that I was transitioning these days. Me and Charles known each other for years going into okay. it because we always played together and stuff like that. Right, so right. It wasn't really like I was felt like I just turned him loose, you know. Uh, I'd say probably let her speak for herself, but I'd say on her end, sometimes she would get me like, man, you know, Craig is this to do and stuff. Craig's on him hard, you know, or whatever. I'm like, it's fine. That's what he's, he's working, you know. Right, so. right, right. How about you on that? Um, well, I just kind of look at it like, for the most part, the the coaches all throughout the years that he's had have done their job and by choice. Mm-hmm. You know, they've never been forced to love our kid. Right. So right. I just feel like the more people that love him and care about him and want to see him succeed, the better off he is. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So, Big, I want to talk about expectation. You know what I'm saying? Going into this year, man. Tell, tell me about it. Well, first of all, give me – you know, before we get to that, man, give me – you know what I'm saying? Do you set out goals every year, or do you, you just go out there and just let the shit fall? Um, well, freshman year, uh, it may have been a little before freshman year because I had I I have a list freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, and senior year about all the goals I want to accomplish. And I wrote that a couple years back, so I already I have those goals written out for my four years of high school. I like it. So yeah, and then sorry, what was the question again? No, I, well, I'll, I'll go to the second part is. No, so what are your expectations going into, you know what I'm saying, Win, this year? Win state. Win it up, year. right? Yeah, because I, this is, if not the best, the second best team that we've had, I've, that we've had at Callaway's in my four years. And I think we're loaded from top to bottom in the lineup, got really great pitchers mm. this year. So I think our expectations this year are yeah. really good. So, but what makes it like, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm going to tell you, man, so I played arena football. We won the championship when I played arena football. But, man, you know, we had ballers throughout the whole, you know what I'm saying, offense, defense, man. But above that, man, we had a – our camaraderie was, like, insane. Mm-hmm. We go hang out together. We go chill. Like, I think that would push us over the edge mm-hmm. to, you know what I'm saying, to winning a championship. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, so so tell me what you guys have that makes you feel they're going to push you over. You know you know, yeah. what I mean? Other than y'all got ballers out there. Yeah, that, the team chemistry for sure. Mm-hmm. We – we always joke around at practices, but I mean, obviously, we still take it serious and stuff. 
But yeah, we always joke around, always have fun out there. And after practice, we're in the locker room. We're listening to music and yeah. jamming out up there and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think the team chemistry there is 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 there, mm-hmm. and it's gonna help us a lot. Mm-hmm. So so from a parent standpoint, man, do y'all form like a. Oh, you know, like a parent squad, like you know what I mean. Like, do y'all like you know what I'm saying? They come in ready. Do y'all would, you know, what I mean, you had the same type of mentality as parents. I mean, I would say for the most part, <laughs> right, yeah, right, because yeah. Um, we played together so long. Like I said, we've all been together yeah. for the long, so we already had that already, mm-hmm. you know. And then we also have built new friendships just mm-hmm. from coming, you know, to Callaway and everything, and being there the ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, third year. Right, right. But yeah, for the most part, I mean, we're. Her whole family over there, the same yeah. way. I mean, there's no like divider, right, nothing right. like yeah. that. I mean, it's, right. it's wide open, and we're all back Everybody's each showing other. Going left and right. Yeah, somebody's mm-hmm. got something going on, with one issue. We're right there with them, trying yeah. to help them with it or something. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah. Yeah. it would definitely be a whole team thing on the field and off the field. Right, right. family, yeah. family yeah. type so. deal. So big though, we're gonna talk about you know what I'm saying, I mean, your process of of going through the commitment. You know what I'm saying, and and, and why you you know chose the school. First of all, man, give me the process of you deciding about school. Give me that. And I always want y'all to be thinking about that too now. Um, so going into this year, there's this coach hop is our pitching coach at Callaway. Okay. And he was setting up a lot of these visits for me and Justin and this other kid. And we were going to these multiple different colleges and stuff. So that was leading up to him. And then Central, I think Central was my last one that okay. I went to. And whenever I went there, I was an hour late. I got the times messed up. <laughs> right, right, for right, right. So I was an hour late. So I was like, dang, I done already made a bad impression. He, <laughs> right. I, I'm not I'm not going here. No oh, more. my God. Like, yeah. I can, I can, yeah. I'm not, he's not going to want me here. Yeah. But um, I showed out a little bit, and he. I went back another time. So I'm freezing you down, though. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so you went for a, like, a, like, try, like, try yes, out. It's like a workout. Mm-hmm. I got you. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So then I did that, and I went back another time for basic, basically another workout just yeah. to show him again. And, yeah, it, it's, since then I've stayed in touch with the coach the whole time, yeah. and that's really all – that's where I wanted to go since I went there. I felt good, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, so, so listen, though. So tell me about the workout, man. Like, what comes along with – because I'm telling you, a lot of people going to watch this and wonder, you know what I'm saying, what comes along with – a workout, you know what I'm saying, to try to impress a college man. Like, give me examples of some stuff y'all did. Um, so first, we just threw, and I think that's really important. Like, throwing in front of the coaches like that is really important because if you can't throw and catch, you can't play baseball to begin with. And that's why I don't play to this day. <laughs> <laughs> and showing them like that you take it serious and things like that, like warming up the right way because you can you can warm up the wrong way and it's, it's going to leave a bad impression, too. So, yeah, imp- throwing is really important. It's more important than people think. Okay. And then we would take, depending on where you, what position you play, I play infield, too. Right. So we just took ground balls, had to throw across the infield, and then we hit some in the cages, and then the pitchers threw a bullpen. So and then they had a radar there and everything. So mm-hmm. you need to make sure you're – you're getting loose yeah, there yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, as far as your nerves, man, I mean, were you nervous working out in front of them, or you just block it out? Like, yes, sir. I wasn't nervous. Trying to get it type deal, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, what I mean, give me y'all process of of you know, as watching your son, man. You know, what I mean, go to figure out his his, his collegiate choice. I mean, give me that. So, and I would say the same thing. We went to several visits, and we may have liked one. He may not. Ah, oh, that one don't fit me. That right. one don't fit me. You know, and. Right. Then he had this time thing. He did not want to go followed in three hours away, but yet he didn't want to be in the back door either, you know. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we went to several ones like that. And when he went out to Central, he just really he came home and said, I really like that, and that's where I want to go. And I said, mm-hmm. you got to figure it out. And they back and forth and stuff. And, you know, the coach said he wanted him and just make it official. But so we went to several of them and just – he said that felt like home. He wanted the opportunity to play yeah. and right off the bat and – he made sure he looked up their schedule and see how they, you know, competed each year and so right. like because that mattered to him. And, you know, I think he said, I don't want to go nowhere that ain't really competing. Ain't competing, so. yeah, yeah. What about you going out now, you know what I mean, from a mom perspective? <laughs> yeah, actually, again, I, I would have encouraged him, you know, to go wherever he felt most comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we've said that from the beginning, again, with both of our children. 
if it's not what they want to do, then they're right. not going to do it. Right. That's and, so true. you know, we can give our advice and, you know, help guide them. But ultimately, you know, it is their choice. So right. Right. That's, I mean, that's true. You can speak on it, Tucker, for a minute, but your idea to you wanted to go to a, a JUCO, a junior college, you know. Yeah, I didn't. JUCO was the route I wanted to go first just for the growth a little bit and development. Yeah. So, yeah, the JUCO, I didn't really want to – I didn't want to go anywhere mm-hmm. other than the JUCO. So, that was perfect fit, too. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm going to tell you, man, for me, man, that's right. I went to, you know. I went to Middle Georgia mm-hmm. coming out of college. I'm going to tell you this, though, big dog. You know what I'm saying? So crazy, man. When I pulled up, you know, I'm leaving Bird County thinking like, yo, all of them go against you. I got to do, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I still remember the first day, man, when we was at – um. You know, you know how everybody come together, sit down, talk to coach, talk to everybody. Mm-hmm. And he went to everybody, ask, you know, ask their name, ask where they're from, and, and their accolades, whatever. Or it was like, I'm just throwing names out. I'm Craig, I'm all American. I'm Tim, I'm all American. Look around that crowd. Is everybody all American in here? Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you, big dog, like, come with it. Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. You already know. It, it gonna be some people in, in that JUCO, man, that. You know what I'm saying? That need to be Division One, need mm-hmm. to be Division One double, like all that type of stuff, man. That transfer portals. I'm about to ask you about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what did that do for you though? Um, I don't I don't really know anything that has done for me right yeah. now. Because I'm I'm not really there yet. I don't feel like so I don't really know a whole lot. Yeah. But I know I know they probably got a couple twenty one year olds there. Right. The junior college. Yes. Yeah, and I'm I'm gonna be eighteen playing my first year there. Yeah. So you gotta go yeah. in there and do your thing though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna tell you, man, that I don't know if you guys even know, like that transfer portal, man, it changed the game. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, good and bad, mm-hmm. right? Bad for, you know what I mean? Cause everything started trickling down. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I remember um I was talking about on, on the last show, uh, uh Deion Sanders, he was talking about, you know, Coach Prime, he was talking about, you know, so when he pick up kids, he picking up 40% JUCO, mm-hmm. 40% um, what did it say? Transfer Porter and twenty percent high school, so it's showing how everything is just making it tough for the high schoolers to get to college now. To be for real, and now JUCO, like like I said, when I went to college, JUCO was super competitive. I can imagine what it's gonna be now. Well, that's one of the things that he, we feel like hurt a little bit, even for his side of it, because everybody says it may be four or five years now before it all plays back out. Yep, and yep. The, yep. Even with Excel that we played with, he said, you know, there were so many D1 athletes that were not getting recruited D1 because they were going transfer a portal. They had two years under their belt but still had four years they could go out there and play. Yep. So your D1 now are going JUCO. And so it, it just trickle-down effect man. for everybody, you know. Man, but – but and, and so I'm going to tell you, though, man, you got to grind. Like, point blank, like, for everybody got to grind now, man, because I'm telling you, that transfer portal really had changed the game. Mm-hmm. It really had changed the game. But like you said, as long as you go in, man, knowing you're going in some business trip, you mm-hmm. already know, mm-hmm. going to business trip, man, you're going to take care of business. Still have fun because you're in college, mm-hmm. but just know it's a business trip. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, 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 big dog. You know what I'm saying? So, at, at the end of every show, man, I give, now, I want y'all to be thinking this also. I give everybody opportunity, man. Just say something positive to lead to the to the listeners, the viewers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, got people see checking me out. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So give somebody something. Give somebody something positive, man. Um, I say always keep running. It doesn't matter if you're short, tall, big, slow, anything. If you if you're gonna put in, I've always heard, and coaches always tell me this too. It's they always like the effort from somebody. Is if you're Somebody that's really good at a sport or anything or anything you do, but you're not willing to put in the hard work and effort at practices and things like that, then the kid that puts in the most effort and the most time mm-hmm. at their craft, they're 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 gonna end up passing that person every day. So I say keep grinding regardless of I- anything. Right. Yeah, I love that man. I love that. How about you, Big Dog? And I would say on that side of it too would be. Always stay positive, always grind, mm-hmm. and most games are built on failure anyway. Mm-hmm. So that's why you got to keep your head high. I mean, yeah. and just that's what I tell Tucker sometimes about. It. I said, you know, just like baseball, I mean, you got people making millions of dollars <clears throat> that are hitting 300. That means they failed seven times at bat out of that 10. So just, you know, 
know that just build on it. You know, it's most definitely. I like it. Give me some positive. Give it to them. Well, from a parent standpoint, I would just say enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah. And don't yeah. blink. <laughs> don't blink. It'll be over, right? I agree with that. Man, listen, man. I appreciate y'all coming through. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, we're going to talk some more in, in the future, man, as, as the season go on, man. Appreciate y'all taking time out y'all's schedule to show mm -hmm. love on my show, big dog. Yeah, man. thank y'all. Yeah, we appreciate thank you having us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all love, man. Yo, y'all know what it is, baby. Zip them up.